When we issue an HTTP request, the HTTP service automatically creates an observable for us, and it automatically emits the response from that request into that observable. When we're dealing with our own actions, we need to define our own observables, and we do that using subject and behavior subject. So a subject, the common pattern for doing a subject or a behavior subject is this. So that first line is defining a private variable for our new subject, and the generic argument there is defining the type of item that's going to be emitted into that stream. Notice that we have the private keyword on there. We do that because we don't want any other part of the application, any other component or service, to be able to uh, emit values or potentially complete our uh, observable. But we still want to have the ability to access the read-only or observable part, and that's the purpose of the second line. So here we're defining an observable, notice the dollar at the end there, and we're setting it equal to our subjects um, observable using as observable. So what's the difference between a subject and a behavior subject? Well, with a subject, when you first subscribe, you don't get any initial value. You won't get a value until another value is emitted into the stream. For a behavior subject, if a value has already been emitted into the stream, you will get the last one. If no values yet been emitted, you get the default value, which is what you specify in the constructor of the behavior subject. Okay, so once we have our action stream, how do we get a value into it? We emit a value using next. So we use this dot category subject dot next and define whatever we want to be emitted into that stream, in this case, a category ID. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.